Bring me sunshine! Princess Leia, and the groom is a delightfully chubby Han Solo. Even the priest is dressed as Darth Vader, complete with dog colour. <sighs> May the Force be with you. And also with you. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in God's presence and through the power of the Force <laughs> to join Maureen and Kevin in holy matrimony. Gareth Sunshine sulks nearby in a cheap Jar Jar Binks costume. <laughs> he is filming the ceremony on his professional camcorder, which is mounted on a tripod. So, rock bottom, we meet at last. <laughs> Gareth takes off his enormous rubber Jar Jar Binks head just as Sally approaches, snapping photographs of the colourful proceedings. For the whole day. Oh, what are this lot going to do? Turn me to the dark side. What? They want to pay this guy. These guys take whatever this is really seriously. The best man is a Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Star Wars way. Then let them have it to the galaxy far, far away <laughs> and leave us normals to get on with some proper work. Ha <laughs> ha! You mean the really silly bomb buddies? What I make, Sally. Oh, no, 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 no. What I create are films. Very short films. No, Daddy. What you create are shite films. <laughs> I don't even know why we bother because no one ever likes them. Well, of course no one ever likes them. That's how you know they're good. <laughs> As for trying to please an audience, Sally, they challenge them with their unique creative vision. Even if that vision happens to be far too ahead of its time, you'll be able to see it. Well, here, right now, in our time, we've got bills to appreciate, so suit up. There's one thing I hate more than a wedding, it's a fucking thing wedding. <laughs> Pardon me, where is your costume, pray? Oh, you'll need two Star Wars costumes left in the shop. Yours doesn't fit me, and the other one, well... Just look so much better on Graham. There is a loud crash and Graham bursts in carrying camera equipment. He is dressed in the sexy Princess Leia slave girl bikini. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Ooh, is it just me or is it really cold in here? Later that morning, as the wedding continues, Graham belly dances behind the camera tripod <laughs> as the Star Wars cantina music is played on a Casio keyboard by a green alien. <laughs> Staring at you. Really? <laughs> You're doing that and you think he's staring at me? <laughs> Gareth spots a man dressed as Obi Wan Kenobi waving at him from the congregation. He dives behind a pillar and drags Graham in next to him by his Princess Leia ponytail. Ow! That is no way to treat a lady. Do you know who that is? Well, he looks like Obi Wan Kenobi. Well, he's not Obi Wan Kenobi! That, my friend, is Douglas King. He's an old nemesis of mine from film school. We had this great unspoken rivalry. A classic case of talent versus ego. Cool. Which one were you? How dare you! Douglas King has made a career by pimping his limited talent out to any Tom, Dick, or Larry who flashes 30 pieces of silver in his direction. Nike! Coca Cola! He knows for Haiti! Oh. <laughs> I know, he's a total whore. But as I. Only make films that interest me. And you've got the rejection letters to prove it. <laughs> so why are we hiding? Well, because... Because Douglas King wouldn't understand how staying true to one's artistic vision is more important than mere money. So if he sees me filming this fucking circus, he's probably going to think I'm some sort of failure. When really, he's the big failure here, creatively speaking, I mean. He's tremendously wealthy. I never recognize you all that proper. No. He knows I'd be there. Mm. You think. You 
think he senses your presence? No doubt about it. Plus he probably clocked the van on his way in. Outside, a white, a white van sports a huge photo of Gareth on its side. <laughs> he is holding up a camcorder and sulking next to the slogan, Sunshine Video, I'd happily shoot you. <laughs> Maureen and Kevin, you have searched your feelings. You know them to be true. Now, fulfill your destiny and take your place at my side for the wedding vows. I can't go out there, Cleo. I can't do it. I can't do it. The thought of Douglas King laughing at me behind my back, it would kill me, I tell you. People laugh at you behind your back all the time. It's never stopped you before. So don't you quit on me now. Did Spielberg quit when the robot jaws kept ballsing up on him? No, he didn't. Did George Lucas quit when the Phantom Menace turned out to be shite? <laughs> or when Attack of the Clones was shot. <laughs> or Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> or that last Indiana Jones film, The Fine Bridge in the Monkeys. Yes, old Bites, you made your point. And you're right. I am a professional filmmaker. Second, the show must go on. Yes, maybe it's time Douglas King saw how a real director does it. <laughs> uh, where where are you going? To the future, Gloom. To the future! I have a very bad feeling about this. I, Kevin, uh, take you, Maureen, to be... No! 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 Show some passion, man! You're not marrying your sister! <laughs> He's not marrying his sister. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, let me explain to Douglas, and to everyone, exactly what is happening here. These two... Well, these two... Wanted this special event captured as creatively as possible. And that's why they came to me. And actually, you were the cheapest. Quiet on the set, you cunt! <laughs> of course, someone of my directorial standing has more important things to film than a freak show like this. But I admit, I was struck by their passion. Their very odd passion. I get it. So I said to myself, what the hell, GS? Why not just this once? But then I also said, if we're doing this, then we're doing it my way. So, I, Kevin, like that you. <laughs> uh, I, Kevin. More fire! Come on! I, Kevin. I, Kevin. Take you, Maureen. Take you, Maureen. Take you, Maureen. <laughs> Take you, Maureen. Come on, look at her, Kevin. Eye contact! Eye contact. Maureen. <laughs> oh! Amateurs! Let's just go for the tape and see what you come up with. Stand by! <laughs> Action! <laughs> the next evening in Gareth's living room. Gareth stares at a bank of computer screens as Sally enters, dressed up for a night on the town. Well, if it's any consolation, Captain Solo, uh, we didn't enjoy your bloody way too much, Ethan. <laughs> Hello? 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 Probably cut off during the jump into hyperspace. Fruit loop. Oh, you're going ahead with this date then, are you? It's not a date. No, not a normal one, where pleasure and joy are the emotions in play, as opposed to self-pity and comfort drinking. But still! <laughs> Mark's an old boyfriend from years ago, that's all. He phones up out of the blue and we're just saying hi. Ah, that explains why you're wearing that top. Show me this top. I like this top. This is a nice top. Relax. It's not a date, remember? Well, not now, it isn't. Not in this top. <laughs> Sally rushes out the door but slams shut behind her. Almost immediately, the doorbell rings. Bing bong! <laughs> Couldn't go through with the date. Nothing to be ashamed about, Sally. We all have our own personal... DEMON! 
Hello. Gareth has opened the door to find himself face to face with his nemesis, the sneering Douglas King. <laughs> Gareth Sunshine. Fancy bumping on you of all people. <laughs> Douglas King. Oh, so you do remember me, eh? Good show. Only Cousin Maureen Splicing the other day, what had this awful idea you were giving one the old brush off? You were at that wedding! <laughs> wow, I didn't... I didn't see you. Really? I looked like this. King holds up a life-sized headshot of himself as Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> he looks exactly the same as he does in the photo. <laughs> well, well, well. Gat Sunshine filming weddings for a living. I say. What? No, that was just a one-off thing. I, <laughs> I thought I made that perfectly clear on the day. Still, though, a ruddy wedding. How did this come to that? Well, it's a funny story, actually. Excellent. I do enjoy a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Across town, in a very posh restaurant, Sally and Mark enjoy a romantic candlelit dinner in a posh restaurant. <laughs> I'm so glad we did this, Sally. Seeing you at Maureen's wedding the other day, I just didn't have the nerve to hold up to you. It's been, what, six years? You never came to them. Really? You have. Mark has had his face surgically altered to look like Darth Maul from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit wacky, I know, but having this done is what made me the regional president of the fan club. You don't have to say that to anybody. You know? <laughs> no, then you came along to <laughs> me. Wait, sir! Wait! Meanwhile, back in Gareth's living room. So, in conclusion, it shall be totally and unambiguously clear to you and everyone <laughs> you speak to, I can't stress that bit enough, that apart from that one little do the other day, I never ever film weddings. In fact, that's one of my golden rules. I never ever film weddings. Graham enters from the kitchen carrying three large cards. Check it out, Gareth, your new price list for filming weddings. <laughs> Say goodbye to your boring old gold, silver, and bronze wedding packages. And say hello to the Kubrick, the Scorsese, <laughs> and the Tarantino. Graham turns each card around to reveal three wedding rate cards, each one more violent looking than the last. The final card shows a picture of Gareth's face over the slogan, I film weddings all the time. <laughs> uh, okay, chaps, enough, enough of that. Now look, Sunshine, I'll come straight to the point. I need someone to take the wheel on a big VIP job for me next week. What do you say? Wait, you want me to direct one of your projects? Well, if you're up for it. I can't do it myself. Double book, so to speak. Well, I don't know. Now look, I know you don't hold for whacking great fees on Hollywood celebrities. Hollywood celebrities! <laughs> which, uh, which celebrities would we be talking about um, here, exactly? Well, Clooney's on board, obviously. And DiCaprio, Kidman, Cruz. <gasps> Tom up and anyway. Alright, alright. On short notice, and if anyone else was available, believe me, I'd ask them instead because. And the Academy Award for Best Director goes to Karen Sunshine! <laughs> oh, you love me! You really love me! I say Sunshine. Hmm? Um, what do you say? Will you do it? Help me not try and take over everything. Over in the restaurant, Sally is now quite drunk. She glares wearily <laughs> at Mark as he sobs uncontrollably into his pudding. I mean, I knew it would be drifting at Mark. I didn't thought you'd like to leave me. Why? Why? Because of this? This is who I am. Shut up! People are staying. I know. They've been staring all night. I think it's that top you're wearing. They're not staring at my top. They are staring at yours. They're staring at this, and that, and those. <laughs> at least they were there until I started shouting. Piss <laughs> off! Well, looks like I'm a bummer with you, Sally. 
You know the sweet understanding sounded from six years ago, no? You changed. It's that Gavin, isn't it? He has changed you. Nobody has changed me. Hang on a sec. How do you know about Gavin? Oh, I know all about you, Sally. <laughs> A few moments later, the phone rings in Garrett's living room. Ring, 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 ring. <coughs> Sunshine speaking. Over. Garrett, you need to get out of the house right now. Bringing the old flame back for the little horizontal refreshment here. <laughs> well, don't worry, these walls are pretty thick. I'm pretty sure I won't hear you come. No, no, Garrett. Mark has a lunatic. Well, is that really so crazy? It's not like the thought hasn't crossed my mind. Gareth, no. He is on his way over there right now to take care of you with a buttery bap. Dr. Mark running down the middle of a suburban street, snarling and hissing, a buttery bap in his hand. (laughs) (laughs) Well, what am I supposed to tell Douglas, kid? Gareth turns to see that Douglas Jane is no longer in his chair. He is now missing. Now where the hell is he 